Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, an American male was rushed to hospital around 12.50 Thursday morning after his vehicle crashed into an apartment wall along Norbrook Road. The car burst into flames causing total damages. It is reported that the driver lost control of the vehicle after a dog ran out into the road. There were no fatalities. Four male prisoners escaped on Thursday morning at the Falmouth Police Station. It is understood that the prisoners cut out a vent in their cell and escaped. Police are now searching for the criminals and appealing to the public to contact the Falmouth Police Station or the CIB if they have any information that could aid in their recapturing. There was a possible solution to the dispute over legal fees between the government and the attorneys representing members of the police force in the so-called Clarendon Death Squad case Thursday morning. Justice Minister Delroy Chuck indicated a willingness to negotiate with the attorneys on Wednesday, but only under certain conditions. The dispute intensified when the cops appeared for trial in the Home Circuit Court. The matter had to be adjourned because the attorneys were not ready to proceed as they had not been paid. Customers in several communities across the corporate area faces day two of their regular water service disrupted. The National Water Commission, NWC, is undertaking system maintenance works. In the meantime, NWC has advised that work will begin as part of its ongoing non-revenue water reduction program being carried out with co-management partners MIA International. It won't be business as usual in the nation's court system as Chief Justice Brian Sykes seeks to reduce the time it takes to complete divorce cases and validate wills. Mr. Sykes also announced plans to change the way cases are listed in the criminal courts as part of the strategy to reduce the backlog of cases crippling the courts. The Jamaica Cancer Society is targeting at least 1,000 women to be checked for cervical cancer, which is most prevalent yet preventable. Executive Director of the organization, Ulit Gordon, said that cancer is a major public health issue that requires a national response. Ms. Gordon said with the prevalence of cervical cancer in the Jamaican society, it is imperative that we look to establish a national screening program to prevent the disease from escalating. A good screening program should be able to cover at least 70% of the population in a particular screening cycle, which would serve to bring the statistics down significantly. In the meantime, the Jamaica Cancer Society has called for the creation of national guidelines to govern patient-physician relationships that would see doctors taking a lead role in cancer prevention by initiating conversation about the disease. Yulit Gordon recommended whenever someone visits a family physician for whatever illness, a dialogue needs to take place around the importance of routine checks like mammograms, pap smears, prostate checks, and other important screening activities. In international news, the daughter of former Russian double agent has spoken publicly for the first time since the pair were poisoned with a nerve agent. She said she has regained consciousness over a week ago. The 33-year-old thanked hospital staff in Salisbury, the English city where the attack took place on March 4, and said she was recovering well. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.